From across the UK, six of the very best senior school choirs have come to Nottingham for one of the country's finest choral competitions. They've just one chance to impress the judges and secure a place in the final of the Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year for 2015. Welcome to the Albert Hall in Nottingham and what a treat we have in store for you. It's the second semi-final of our school choir competition. This time the seniors featuring some of the best young choral singers in the UK. Our six choirs have travelled from far and wide to be here, so let's meet them. From North Yorkshire, the Chapel Choir of Harrogate Ladies College. <laughs> Cantabile Girls Choir from Hereford Cathedral School. Twyford Church of England High School from London. From Kent, Tunbridge Grammar School, Motet Choir. From Salisbury's Godolphin School, Godolphin Vocal Ensemble. And finally, from Belfast, Strathern School Chamber Choir. Well, never mind the singers, there are plenty of excited supporters in the hall as well. After watching the junior school competition last week, you'll have seen Josie Darby interviewing the youngsters backstage. Well, the good news is she survived and she's agreed to come back again this week. Thanks, Alid. Well, as you know, I had a brilliant time at the junior semi-finals. It was such a gorgeous atmosphere backstage. So really looking forward to meeting the seniors and, of course, hearing them sing. Thanks, Josie. We'll see you later. Well, it's about time we met our three expert judges who have the unenviable task of deciding which three choirs to put forward to the final in a fortnight's time. Our first judge is J.B. Gill, who found fame in chart-topping boy band JLS. We're at the final six choirs in the country. They're going to be strong. They're going to be good. And I think it's, it's going to boil down to the, the small details, the minute details, which is going to mean that we're going to have to focus, we're going to have to really listen. The better they are, the harder it makes our job. Evie Burnett is an opera singer and vocal coach to the stars and a familiar face on talent shows like The Voice. Welcome back, Evie! <laughs> hey, lady. I'm expecting a lot from these choirs because they've got this far. And it's a national competition, and I'm expecting that the choir masters have really worked them hard. I'm also looking forward to seeing those teenagers getting up there and enjoying themselves. And finally, choral guru Tim Rhys Evans, founder of groundbreaking Welsh choirs Only Men Allowed and Only Boys Allowed. Judging is always a huge responsibility, and we're listening to one song, which isn't a lot of time to, to make a judgment on a choir, but that's what I'm here to do. So with my colleagues, we will, we will do that and we'll take it very seriously. Our judges, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the hard work for our judges and choirs begins right now. Each of our six will sing a hymn or worship song. And based on that performance alone, the judges will choose three schools to go through to the final on the 17th of May. No room for error from our singers. It's tough at the top. The first choir hoping to impress Tim, Evie and JB are first-time semi-finalists. It's the Chapel Choir of Harrogate Ladies College. <laughs> cloaks we wear them every morning to chapel you could think it's like an extra layer because in winter it does get cold but um people there are many debates that they were cool before harry potter which they were pretty cool <laughs> it's like a community within a community so there's so many different years but we're all connected by something we love doing which is singing we are like a family I wouldn't really say it's just a choir. It's not just a choir, it's a family. In the semi-final, we're going to sing Let All The World. It's based around unity, which obviously is reflected in our choir, because we're all so together and the words just reflect that. So I think it's a perfect song to sing.
Well Evie, it's the first time for this choir singing in the semis. Um, did they step up to the mark? They certainly did. From the moment they got on the stage, I was impressed. Everything was spot on, so precise, and sometimes being as precise as that can make it feel just a little bit mechanical, but it didn't. You had so much feeling as well, and your tone was lovely throughout, throughout the whole piece. And I think you've set an amazing standard for us. I think we're going to have a fabulous afternoon. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Uh, Tim, it was very disciplined, wasn't it? It was incredibly disciplined, yeah. You're clearly very well drilled as a choir, and that came off. There was a lovely refined quality, and I loved the detail in the performance, particularly uh, in the second verse with the, with the shout that we got mm. at the counterpoint there. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. JV, how about you? Um, I absolutely loved it. I kind of felt like I was a prince in a royal court, and you guys were kind of serenading. Wow, you really did enjoy well, it, JV. I, I, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. Um, you know, you guys came on with lovely smiles. You came and you mean business. You're here to perform. Uh, it was really, really beautiful. If anything, I just wanted to hear a little bit more. You've done very, very well. Thank you, judges, and thank you, Harrogate Ladies College, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kate, first time in the competition for your ladies. How <laughs> proud of them are you? I'm just overwhelmingly proud. I mean, I knew they'd do well, and they've worked so hard, but this is a day we'll remember for the rest of our lives. It was fantastic. And what fantastic feedback, Georgia. Yeah, it was great, like, especially the comments on the smiling and the presentation, we've really worked on that. Next up is a school you may recognise from last year's final. Hoping to make it through for a second time, it's Hereford Cathedral School Cantabile Girls Choir. We sing quite a wide range of music. We do you know, from folk music to kind of spiritual to classical um, religious choral music. But we'll also um, busk around the piano and sing a few Adele songs or anything we feel like singing. <laughs> Our conductor, Mrs. Williamson, is actually just brilliant. She's so inspiring. I mean, she tells us off when we get things wrong, but at the end of the day, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be where we are without her. In the semi-final, we are singing a traditional German hymn. It's just so uplifting, especially with a soaring descant at the end, and it always puts a smile on the face of everyone when we sing it.
So, JB, did that performance make you want to shout out hallelujah? <laughs> it was truly a beautiful performance. Um, I love the thing I loved most about it was that it built from the first verse all the way through to the end, and you added sort of spikes and added bits, which just really made you sit up and see uh, just how good you guys are. Uh, if I was going to give you one criticism, it would be that I love the sopranos coming in in the third verse. You guys are really, really good, um, and it almost was a bit too powerful for the guys at the bottom end. Great, thank you very much, Tim. It's it's a really mature sound, isn't it? Um, the first things I've written on my sheet are, wow, what a sound, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, uh, because it really is a, a, a sound that really belies your age. Clearly, there are some great in individual voices. Well, clearly, all have great individual voices, and that can be as, as much of a trial for a choral conductor as, as a benefit, but I thought it was, it was handled really, really well. And there's one thing I want to pick up in particular uh, which impressed me. My old coach at, at music college used to say to me, anybody can sing loud, it's singing, it's singing quietly that takes the work. And your piano singing was just as resonant as your forte singing. Uh, that's hard to pull off, but you did it very, very well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Evie, uh, this choir's had experience in competitions in the past. Did, did that show? I think the very first phrase was what got us all, really. I think there was a smile on our faces immediately. There seems to be a real mezzo richness going on there. I'm a little bit biased because I'm a mezzo. <laughs> but the mezzos were sounding fa fabulous. So whoever it was that had the strength at the beginning, that really stood out. But I must congratulate you. This is a fabulous choir. Thank you, girls. Thank you very much, judges. And a huge round of applause for Cantabile. <laughs> Tim wrote, wow, I mean, you got lots of high praise today. Yeah, it was good, it was really good. <laughs> now, your choir's been in the final in the past. How, how confident are you today? Oh, well, we're just hoping for the best, really, to see how far we can get, and I don't know, we've all really enjoyed the day so far. Well, our next choir is already on the Songs of Praise Wall of Fame, having won the senior competition back in 2009. Singing for a place in this year's final is Twyford Church of England High School from London. Ian in the choir is very soothing, especially after a stressful day at school. Um, after school, we just come and we rehearse together. It's like really fun because you like can talk to God through singing. Having a chapel in our school, because Church of England School, it's really blessing and lovely. Oh, we have uh, formal worship times. But there's also um, good opportunities where um, students can meet at lunchtime and have a chance to worship together. We are going to sing The Lord is My Shepherd, which was taken from Psalm 23. For me, the song really expresses the joy of um, uh, knowing God and following his path.
Tim, first things first, it's nice seeing the lads. It is great, and <laughs> uh, bravo to the four, four boys there do, uh, doing a storming job. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Twyford. That was a, a very unusual setting of the 23rd Psalm. There's a fullness to your sound, um, which was fantastic. I thought there was some really, really beautiful phrasing when you talked about the still waters, and those waters were flowing. It was lovely. A really thrilling performance. Thank you very much for, thank you, for bringing that. Uh, Evie, what did you make of it? They really moved me. You moved me with your enthusiasm and with your energy and with the way that you communicated with us. And I really felt that you had thought about these words and you knew what they meant and you wanted to tell us. And it's great to hear something uh, fresh like that that we haven't heard before. And you really, you really delivered very, very well. Thank you, Evie. Uh, JB, were you impressed? I was very impressed. Um, in JLS, whenever we wanted to stand out and really make people sit up and notice what we could do, we did it in a cappella. And for me, the fact that you did that in a cappella, that you had so much texture, the arrangement was incredible, well done. And it's a well-known uh, uh, psalm, of course, and a well-known song. So for me, the way you delivered it was so unique. It just kept me on the edge of my seat. Um, I felt the control was excellent. I can tell you guys enjoy performing, and it's nice to hear some uh, male vocals in there as well. Uh, but brilliant, brilliant performance. Well done. Thank you very much, judges, and a huge thanks to Twyford High School. Now, Victor here is one of only four boys in this year's senior competition. Yeah. So, could your name be appropriate, Victor, because this choir has won before? Yes, it had in 2009, and uh, I believe that this choir in 2015 will go all the way to the final. I just believe it. Well, we shall see. Lloyd, you've only got a couple of minutes to showcase okay. the strengths of your choir. Do you feel you did that today? Uh, yeah, I think we did. Um, the choir is very dedicated, they enjoy singing, and I think the message came across very strongly. Well, we're at the halfway point, and I can promise you there are three fabulous choirs still to perform, starting with some singers who've travelled from Kent to be with us today. Let's hear from Tunbridge Grammar School Motet Choir. Every week we normally have um, a student warming us up. Um, so we practice our scales, pitch tests, things like that. It's something everyone can really enjoy and have fun doing at the same time. Our conductor, Mr Pitts, has been with us since the beginning. Uh, it's the 25th year of the choir, and so that's an amazing commitment from him. I mean, he's really um, passionate about what he does, and I think he's pushed us really hard to try and be as best that we can be. In the semi-final, they are going to be singing The King of Love, which is arranged by, actually, our choir conductor. It's talking about um, how Jesus is our saviour and how he loves us and that we should follow him and that he's with us wherever we will go.
Uh, Evie, beautiful hymn. Uh, beautifully sung? Beautifully sung. It was technically difficult, some really sustained long phrases, which is difficult when you're young and you haven't quite got all your power in your breathing apparatus. Um, I thought you did very well with your long phrases. Occasionally, I felt like you needed a little bit more towards the end of them, so you need to aim towards the end of the phrase rather than just aiming towards the middle. But that comes with age, and that's a very small point because I thought you sang beautifully, so thank you very much. That was another lovely performance, thank you. Tim, were you impressed? I certainly was. We're, we're having a wonderful afternoon of singing, and our job is going to be very difficult. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations to our quartet for beginning. It's never easy to begin a piece, and, and especially one as exposed as this. Um, the first choral entry uh, in verse 2 was the highlight for me, and we, we heard that the sound you, you made. It was, it was as if the sound was coming from beneath your feet. Uh, oh, and I also wanted to praise the altos for your bottom Gs at the end, which were very, very, very impressive. Uh, thank you, all of you. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you, Tim. JP, uh, they look the part. They sound the part for you. They definitely sound the part. You guys have an absolutely lovely blend. Um, you know, you guys really did support each other. You really did uh, gel well together. Um, my only criticism probably would be that I felt at the beginning with the, with the soloists, which were all brilliant, by the way, um, I, I couldn't quite hear um, some of the words that, uh, in, the, in those lines. Um, but other than that, you know, you guys are really, really good. Thank you very much, judges, and a huge round of applause for Tunbridge Grammar School. Olivia, great comments. Did that go as well as it had done in rehearsals? I think that it was one of our strongest performances because we had the adrenaline and that makes us perform better than other times. What do you think about the judges' comments? I thought they were good comments. I was pleased with them and it was good to get some feedback, you know, how to improve, because we're always looking to improve. We're counting down. There are just two schools left to sing. And our next choir won't have to wait long. They have a great pedigree in the competition. It's Godolphin Vocal Ensemble. It's so fun being in the choir. When it's Wednesday, I know I'm going to vocal ensemble. I just get so excited because I know that I'll just have a smile put on my face. Um, I've made loads of friends and it's just so fun. So it just makes us feel so good. Hands up, we never knew that. It really like allows you to express yourself as an individual while still being part of a group. We are going to sing Let All the World in Every Corner Sing. It's a really lovely song. It really just gives you such a boost of energy and it really allows you just to express yourself through the joy of being in a choir.
Tim, this choir has done well previously. What did you make of the performance today? Congratulations, uh, Godolphin Vocal Ensemble. Lovely performance, lovely clear sound, um, uh, very poised uh, young performers uh, before us, which is, which is great to see. And, and then that poise carried through to the sort of the stateliness of, of the way you interpreted uh, the, the song. I would just encourage you to watch, uh, in, in the spirit of con constructive criticism, watch the long notes that you always remember that, uh, that notes, and when they've sung, must live, that they're never too straight. Um, and effectively, this is a double soprano arrangement, and sometimes the balance between the two uh, could have been a little bit more even. Thank you, Tim. Uh, JB, uh, were you impressed? I was. I, I thought that the vocal quality um, from you guys was very crisp. It was a very solid performance, um, and I thought the dynamics throughout were beautiful because it was, you know, there were there were highs and lows, and it was soft and it was strong and powerful as well. Um, for me, I wanted to hear a little bit more harmony because I thought they were very, very powerful and strong at the end. Um, but yeah, a very good performance. Well done, um, Evie. Did they do enough musically to impress you? Yes, they. They certainly impressed me, but I think maybe they could have done a little bit more. I think sometimes with all that let all the worlds, there were a lot of them, and some of them could have been a little bit more varied, perhaps more of a crescendo or more of an opening up, as Tim was saying, on the long note, so they didn't just go there and then stay. You got to the word world, and it just crescendoed through to the next note. But overall, very, very precise, lovely phrasing. Thank you, girls. That was beautiful. Thank you, judges, and a huge round of applause for Godolphin! Cecily, how did you find singing with the cameras there and the audience? It was quite intimidating at first, but you get used to it. <laughs> it's, it's really nice. Did you manage yeah. to enjoy yourself out there? I did. I loved it more than I thought I would. <laughs> Faith, does it mean a lot to you to be here singing about things you believe? It means so much. We are so lucky to have been chosen to come to the semi-finals and we're just so happy to be here. It's quite overwhelming, actually. It's time to hear from our final choir and they're brand new to the competition. From Belfast, it's Strathern School Chamber Choir. Well, we'll be flying over and we'll be spending a whole weekend in a hotel together and um, we all are really excited to go away on the trip to Nottingham. There will be obviously long hours working for it, but there will also be good fun times and a lot of memories will be made by this. We were all actually sitting in senior choir and Miss McGavar came in and told us the good news and we all got up and screamed. And I've seen loads of different other choirs audition for this and how great they were. So we were just like, no, we're never gonna get into this, but we got in and it's amazing. In the semi-final, we're going to sing a song called Love Unknown. Love Unknown makes you think about the lyrics that you're singing and you just hope that it'll bring a tear to the audience's eye because it truly is beautiful.
Tim, uh, they were singing one of my favourite pieces in the whole world. Uh, did they do it justice, you think? Mine too. It, it's such a great tune. Um, uh, I think the sound you create is, 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 is beautiful. Uh, it was folky, dreamlike quality uh, when these, these lovely parts that were moving in and out of one another. One thing I would say is, with a tune as great as this, it's always really important that we hear that tune and everything that is that is accompanying it is just that sadly uh, towards the end we just got a, a few intonation issues uh, but uh, i'm nitpicking now um uh, i enjoyed it very very much thank you tim uh, uh, jb it was a very captivating performance wasn't it absolutely captivating i the first thing i thought was that is so beautiful and the second thing i thought was that the harmonies and, and uh, the blend of your voices is really soothing. Um, the only thing that I would say is that I felt like I wanted to hear a little bit more from the altos, just because you guys had such a, a really rich uh, uh, um, part to, to, the, to the choir. But other than that, um, you know, it was a really beautiful sound. Thank you, JB. Uh, Evie, their first time in the competition, did they step up to the mark, do you think? You wouldn't have known it was your first time. There was a confidence there. Um, I've really got to commend you on your, uh, the way you deliver the text. I believe that you meant it, and that's such a lovely thing, especially in a beautiful piece like this. Um, the tuning things that Tim um, was talking about, it's very slight, but sometimes it's on a downward phrase. Always think up on those downward phrases, especially when you're nervous, because they will sag if you don't think of them as brightening all the way through. Thank you very much, girls. I enjoyed that a lot. Oh, you're good judges. Thank you, too. And a huge round of applause for Strathern School. So all that rehearsing, it really paid off today, didn't it? Yes, no, we've just loved being in the competition. It's been such an honour, and we've just loved every minute of it. And Kazai, you've had to wait till the very end to go on. What's that been like? Oh, it's been a bit nerve-wracking having to wait and see all the other choirs go. But apart from that, the excitement's just been bubbling away. Well, our judges have left the hall to decide which three choirs will be going through to the final in a fortnight's time. And I don't envy them. Have you got a favourite? If you're struggling to make your mind up, here's a look back at all six senior choir performances. Harrogate did a great job at starting. Yeah, I mean, they, were, they sounded confident, they were sort of uplifting in the, yeah. in the piece they'd chosen. I wish we'd had more, uh, more complexity. They had some really lovely things. There was a refined, mature quality, but I'm not sure. I really was impressed by them. There was almost an operatic yes. quality to it. Were, and it wasn't just our singer. There were obviously yeah. a strong bunch of singers. Yeah, I loved the Alleluias, and it was a beautiful song choice, really. Yeah, but what a sound. Ah, oh, incredible. It was just so brilliant for me because at every turn, every phrase, every line, they just kept you guessing. And you know, there was no point where you thought, oh yeah, they were gonna do that. Oh, they're gonna go here. They had got into it and they gave so much enthusiasm to it that I really, it really moved me. Mm. I thought they had a lovely blend and for me, that's what choir should all be about. And I think we were talking about their breathing. Um, perhaps, you know, a little bit more freedom in yeah. their movement or in their stance would have helped their breathing. But, you know, it was a difficult song for breathing. And, yeah. you know, they did it very well. It's a small point. There's a lovely clarity to their, their tone, which I liked. Very good diction, particularly the final. My God and... King to get those final consonants with, you it's very know. Good. But I just wanted one of the times we let all the world, you know, yes. I just think, let yes. go, you know, give us something extra. We were talking earlier, JB, about that, that dreamy quality to their sound. I, I got that lovely lilt uh, in their voices, and, and I enjoyed that very, very much. I did too. You know, I thought they had a beautiful quality to their voices. And for me, 
when it comes to music, you want to be able to enjoy it. You know, you don't want to sit there and think, oh, that wasn't there, that wasn't quite right. You know, you, you want to just enjoy the whole piece, and I, I really did. I think the only thing for me that was lacking is I didn't quite think that the pianissimo singing was was as good as it could have been. They were so quiet, they almost couldn't get the notes out. Well, the judges are back in their seats and the choirs are back on stage waiting to hear the result. Only three senior choirs can compete in the final, but I'm sure you'll agree that all six can hold their heads up high after those fantastic performances. Well done. <laughs> OK, here goes. It's decision time. Good luck, all of you. JP, give us the name of the uh, first choir going through to the final. The first senior school choir going through to the final of the Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year is... Stratham School Chamber Choir. <laughs> Evie, the name of the second senior choir going through to the final. The second senior choir going through to the Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year is... Twyford Church of England. <laughs> OK, Tim, the last choir going through to the final. Gosh, this has been so hard. It's such a judge's cliché, but please know that, everybody. This has been a very difficult decision. But the third senior choir going through to the final of the Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year is Cantabile Girls Choir. <laughs> Well, congratulations to all our singers, especially the winning choirs. Next Sunday, we have a special Songs of Praise to mark the 70th anniversary of VE Day. But we'll be back in a fortnight with the all-important final. It's going to be exciting. You'd be mad to miss it. See you then.